بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. So inshallah, we are moving on to the Sunnah. So the first discussion we had was regarding Kitabullah. And in Kitabullah we had different taqseem, we had um, a few additional discussions regarding some of these works. Now we're moving on to Sunnah to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first we're going to discuss Ta'arifu Sunnah and Aqsamu Sunnah. So a Sunnah, Lughatan, is a Tariqah. So the Arabs use the word Sunnah in the meaning of path, way, yes, and then we have a particular way we use this word. Okay? Wa sunnatun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma yunsabu ilayhi min qawlin aw fa'lin aw taqreed Anything which is attributed to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whether it's his statement, whether it's his fa'il, whether it's his taqreed Okay? Taqreed is what the approval. So the Prophet's statement, qal yaqul qawla, it's his statement fail his actions and his taqreer for anything is called taqreer wal murad bi sunnah fi ha huna ma huwa shamil li aqwal as-sahabati wa af'alihim aydan i mean the sunnah here we mean what includes the aqwal of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum so there's two points we need to mention here very important point number 1 is everything the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam did every single thing lughatan is called a sunnah are you following so for example, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he performs Salah, that's also Sunnah. But Fajr Salah is a Sunnah, in meaning what? Something he did. It's not a Sunnah in terms of the hukam that is Faraz Wadil Sunnah. So you have to be very careful. The word Sunnah is, has a very broad meaning, but then it can be, because we call it in a mantic equivocation, that one person is using a mustalah of Sunnah in one way, and then use that same word, thinking it has the same meaning in another way. Are you following? So for example, uh, like so Sunnah, so Fajr, Fajr Sunnah or not Sunnah? Where are you saying you're wrong? Is Sunnah or not Sunnah? You get what I'm saying? So where are you saying it's wrong? If you say yes, it is a Sunnah, I would say no, it's Farad. If he says no, not a Sunnah, it's Farad, I would say no, I'm talking about that, I'm talking about Sunnah means the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So performing, having belief in Allah is it Sunnah or is it Farad? It's a Sunnah meaning the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have living in Medina Munawwara, doing a migration, marrying somebody called Aisha or Khadija, uh, riding a camel. So all of these things are Lughatan as Sunnah. But in fiqh, we refer to Sunnah as those practices of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which he then as a tashri, a tashri, or an tashri. Tashri means a commentary of the Quran and an amal of the Quran, and also an explanation of religion. As far as umur dunya is concerned, there's two points to remember. One is that the umur of the dunya is not mashru'ah, mashru it's not like a sunnah. But you have to remember the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whatever he done is probably the best, the best of all ways. It's the purest, the best. Allah will not allow the Nabi or the Anbiya to do anything which is against fitrah, against nature. You understand? This is why there's a statement called, people use this statement, is very, very important but also very, very dangerous. One statement. It's only a, it's, a, it's a sunnah. It's only a sunnah. Now, depending on how you pronounce it, only it can change the whole meaning. So, it's only a sunnah. If you is normally most commonly used derogatory or it's used tahkiran as don't do it, it's leave it. You say, no, we love Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so much that even those things which he has not uh, stipulated as religion for us, we should strive and we should love so much. We want to do these things. Like for example. Uh, we should, we should, I wish I knew what Prophet used to, his favorite food was, so I can do it as well. So, is, would you get in itself eating a particular menu is not sunnah? But because we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi so much, even everything he do, I want to copy him. Why do people buy football shirts every year? Because they love the football club. Why do you have fan clubs and they sell, even forget football clubs, you have, even YouTube people, they have what? Buy a mug, buy a shirt. 20 pounds for a shirt. <laughs> Who's going to buy a 20 pounds for a shirt? That, or 20 pounds for a mug? Because I've got a YouTube channel. If you love that guy or you love that woman, what do you do? You buy it? Is, it. is it a part of the conditions? No. But similarly, every action of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa we should love it so much that we aspire to bring it into our lives in some form or the other. Even if it's not something he's done as a religion. So, so well, the Prophet had a race with Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. So when I get a chance, I'm going to have a race. I'm going to train, I'm going to raise my wife. Now, if you do, now the real sunnah is what? In this, the real sunnah in there is, husnul khuluq, being good to your spouse. So, 
you could do it being good and playful with your wife in any way. You know, you can do it anyway. You can have, you can have uh, any kind of any, anything. It can be in any way. You understand? But you say, I want to do this race one time because why? Prophet done this. You understand? And then you have, the, and so that's the that's some people say, oh, Sunnah so meaning don't do it. You know, yeah, that's not a problem. That's wrong. That's incorrect. We should have love also so much that everything we want to do. And number two, so it's important so we understand tabaqat. That it's a sunnah meaning, it's not one of the, sh- the, the main core of deen. So right now, if there's a need, a genuine need, it can be, let's say for example, we're traveling. What are we doing? We're traveling in like very hot weather. We're from Makkah to Medina. And now, there's an action. We say, well, right now, if, if I go and do the sunnah, everybody else is going to get inconvenience. Waiting in the, waiting in the car, waiting in the bus. I said, it's only a sunnah here. It doesn't. It's okay. We can leave it right now. It's not going to. It's not like a sin to leave it. So fiqhan to understand it's a sunnah is important, but don't use a statement as a tahqir that oh, this doesn't matter. You know, it's sunnah. It's sunnah. It doesn't matter. You understand? So it's a statement. It's important to understand its value, but it's also detrimental in terms of it can kind of like uh, downplay the importance of the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So in fiqh, when we say sunnah, we mean those things the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa as religion and the af'al of the sahaba, the sahaba's statements, the sahaba's statements regarding religion and their af'al. You understand? It's very important. Because we have sunnah wal jama'ah, jama'ah means sahaba. So when we look at, when we look at fiqh, a hadith discussion, don't just look for the hadith. Because hadith is the transmission of one hadith. What does it mean? The af'al of the sahaba. And the aqwal of sahaba is a sharaf, is, is a, the closest interpretation of the hadith. Do you understand? So it's always important to look at the aqwal of sahaba, not just a hadith, but a sah. Like, okay, this is hadith. But how did sahaba deal with this hadith in their, in their, in their time? In fun. So that's why we, uh, what do you call it? Well, we, uh, Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the sahaba, we stick to the Jama'ah. So even their aqwal and af'al are what? We take those. Do you understand? Okay, that's a bit of a tangent. وَالْأَقْسَامُ الْإِشْرُونَ أَلَّتِي سَبَقَ ذِكْرُهَا فِي بَحْثِ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى مُبْتَرَى خَبَرْ ثَابِتَةٌ فِي السُنَّةِ عَيْضًا And the 20 qisams that we mentioned before Aam, Khas, Mushtarak, Mu'awwal, Haqiqa, Majaz, Kinaya, Sari Then Nas, Nas, Zahir, Mufassar, Muhkam, Khafi, Mushkil, Mujmal, Muhtashabih Ibarat al-Nas, Ishaat al-Nas, Dalat al-Nas, Iqtada al-Nas And then, Tats of Haqiqah, then the rules of Amr, Ma'amul Bihi All of those apply in the Sunnah You follow me? So those same rules can be applied here وَهَذَا الْبَابْ لِبَيَانِي So we're not going to explain all those things again However, this Bab, this chapter we have in this Usul al-Fiqh book Is لِبَيَانِي مَا تَخْتَصُ بِهِ al-Sunnah Is to clarify and explain those things which are particular to the Sunnah وَاعْلَمْ أَنَّ خَبَرَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ بِمَنْزِلَةِ الْكِتَابِ فِي حَقِّ لُزُومِ الْعِلْمِ وَالْأَمَلِ بِهِ فَإِنَّ مَنْ أَطَاعَهُ فَقَدْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهِ Know that the, the khabar of Rasulullah, any statement of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم is just like kitab Allah. In term, not in terms of the nazam being mu'jizah, because obviously the Qur'an is a mu'jiz, not the Prophet's nazam. Prophet's words. The Quranic words are mu'ajiz. The Prophet's words are not mu'ajiz. The Quranic words are what? Has much deeper meaning than the Prophet's words. Even the Prophet's is Afsal Arab. So, our kalam, Rasulullah's kalam, and then Quran is Yes, yeah, so even the Prophet's words are much better than all of our words, but it doesn't reach the level of the Quran. So, not in terms of nazam and wording, etc., and balagha and fasaha. Even though itself is fasih and balik, but it doesn't reach the Quran. But in terms of ilm and amal, in terms of ilm and amal, they're both the same. فَمَنْ فَإِنَّهُ فَإِنَّ مَنْ أَطَاعَهُ فَقَدْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهُ Whoever obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who he obeys? Whoever obeys Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he has actually obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, the, what, what does this mean? But look, before we go on to this, that, that thing, you cannot reject the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because why? You can't say, I believe the Prophet when he says Allah said this. So when the Prophet says to you, says to us, لا تقرب الزنا إنه كان فاحشة وساء سبيلا. I believe that. But the Prophet says, لا تفعل كذا. I don't believe that. Are you following me? If I trust you 
to say, if I trust you, let's say for example, you have been sent um, from, uh, as a, an authority, uh, as a representative from the government. So when they say to you, when you, when you give me the letter, and I, I believe that this is what is not a fade forged letter, I believe you in that one. But when you say that, oh, uh, the ruling is regarding this is this, I don't believe that. It's like, you believe me when I say from him, but you don't believe when I explain what he's saying. Do you understand? So it, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's, so be, what we're saying is, if you, if in a companion's time, if somebody rejected the words of Rasulullah so where did he come? A kafir. If he does a ta'wil and he's lazy or whatever, he becomes a fa he, he would be like a sinful person. But if they reject the munafiq, they reject the Prophet's words. It's just a reject Allah's words. Because why? The Prophet is conveying his message and your message. You that's what the sunnah is, a dalil qat'i. You follow me? Whatever the Prophet said to the companions is qat'an. That's why you will see sometimes sahaba would do an amal, and other sahabas would say that's not what it is. But he would say, like, I heard Rasulullah saying this. So, and I understood this meaning. So I can't go against this. If the Prophet gave me an issue, a command, I understood this. I can't go against that. Even though the other sahaba said, no, that's not what it meant. Because he heard it himself. So he felt obliged to do this. Are you following me? So let's, 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 let's understand this. Where does our knowledge come from? Where does our knowledge come from? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our everything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our knowledge. Our morals, our guidance. Yes? So even nowadays, even nowadays, if you look at those societies which are trying to say, well, we are our our guidance comes from ourselves, we decide. The, originally, they've taken the fundamentals from Christianity. You understand? So they now they were Christian society, they took certain values. Now they they remove the link from the Bible or from the Christianity and then they're modifying it. But originally it started from where? From from where? In the Bible. So even then, so what we have, even though it's keeps on changing now, it's getting really like, ridiculous, all the morals that they have. But it starts off from where? You get what made them to the level that they were first? The Bible. Christianity. And then from there, then they change it. So we no longer need a religion. We're going to change all certain things. But we need to get to that level where the way So everything of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You follow me? Now, from Allah to us, we have what? Wasa'it. Intermediaries. Messengers. And at every point, it's very important for us to understand and, and uh, adhere and believe the messengers. Let me explain to you here. How does the message of Allah come to us? What comes to Christian Nabi? La yukallimu ahadan ahadan. Allah does not speak to everybody individually. Ma kana li bashan yukallimuhu Allahu illa wahyan aw min wara'i hijab aw yusir rasoolah. This is the Anbiya. But Allah doesn't speak to the layman. Allah speaks via the Anbiya. And how does the Anbiya receive message? By Jibreel. Are you following? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding Jibreel, that he's authentic, he's thiqah. And from Jibreel comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes to the Ummah. Are you following? So now, Allah says regarding Jibreel, I mean, إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ He is noble. ذِي قُوَّةٍ إِنَّ ذِي الْعَرْشِ In the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is qawi, he is makin, muta'in, he is obeyed, thamma ameen. So the first level, Jibreel, there's no, there's no what issue regarding him. Yes, there's no issue regarding him. What Allah said regarding uh, the uh, Jibreel? Man kana aduwul lillahi malaikati wa rasulihi wa Jibreel. Because if you don't want Jibreel, so no, the, the, the wasita that the, the Prophet received. So obviously, atheists don't believe this wasita anyways. But the Christians will say, or the Jews will say, oh, Jibreel is not an authentic angel. So Allah said, no, he is authentic. So the link from the the link from Allah subhanahu wa taala to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In majority of the cases, what Jibreel Amin. So that link is preserved. That link is that he's authentic. And then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, wa ma sahibukum bi majnun. When he saw Jibreel, he's not mad. He actually saw Jibreel. And how do you know? Liqai sabit, la kadra ahu la fuqil mubin. He knew what he looks like. Wa ma hu ala ghaybi zanil, and he's not stingy in the in the in the message. Meaning he proclaims all of the messages. And as verifying two of the wasita. And then between Allah, Jibreel, and Rasul, who comes after that to the Ummah? As time went on, who comes in afterwards? Sahaba. So then Allah says, Sahaba regarding them, Wasabiqu, Allah says, Radiyallahu anhu wa radu'an. Allah is happy with them, and they're happy with Allah. Allah is happy with them, and they're happy with Allah. Why is, why is he saying this? That if Allah is happy with them, that means that they can never commit what? Anything against Allah's Rizwan. So that's why the Sahaba, we say here, that's why we say the Anbiya Ma'asum. The Anbiya, Ismatul Anbiya. Because if that link, you see what happens now, if you break up these links, 
one by one, you end up then breaking everything. So we say now, the Rasul is what? He is, he is Ameen. He is Ameen, trustworthy. And the Sahaba, radiallahu anhu wa radhu an. After the Sahaba, how does it get to us? Huh? Tabi'in or keeps on going on, but what, 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 can we, what can we group the Tabi'in and the group us? Huh? What else? And today, how, where do you get your knowledge from? Books, what else? Scholars and teachers. That's the next, that's the next one. Ulama, Madaris. That's the link. So you have, I mean, everybody. So you have Salaf, you have the whole chain. So now, if you look at any people who are enemies of Islam, where do they start off from? from to, to connect and disconnect the Ummah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can't just go and attack Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, attack Jibreel Amin Rasulullah. Where do you start off from? The lower sources. So that link for us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this, is this tabaqa. And any people who make attack, they make attack via these. Get rid of the ulama. Even a Christian would do? The priests. Attack the priests. Get rid of them. Get rid of them, then they don't have sahaba in them. They don't, they don't have sahaba in them. Then you have sahaba. People attack the sahaba. So you know, that's why, that's why you say, oh, it's, it's all right. But it's not. It's very important. Sahaba mahfuz. Collectively, they never done anything wrong. Collectively, they were always on the haqq. That's why ijma' of the sahaba is qat'an according to us. Why? The sahaba are the awwal mukhatib of the wahi. What they understood is deen. And to try to do anything to violate that, you know, make, you know, cutting off one link. In those countries, are trying to get, uh, trying to remove religion. What do you do? Ulama. No madrasas. No teaching. You govern the teaching and get rid of the ulama, either in jail or in prison or limit their resources. Because what then now? You don't have no link to Sahaba. And if you, if you criticize Sahaba, we can't trust them. They are source from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You get rid of that. Ambiya. What what the Christian? What happened to the Christian faith? If you hear the stories regarding them, it's like, like I don't know. Dawood got somebody killed so he can marry his wife, and then. Yonah was like angry at God and shouting at God. Like, you move, then what happens? How can you trust the Bible as it comes through them? You following? So all of these, these all these are wasail. So that's a bit of a side thing. We say so everything the Prophet says is cut an. Yes. However, illa an shubhata fi bab al khabri fi thubutihi min Rasulillahi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa tisalihi bihi. The only question that we raise or the things we analyze is not. Is how it reached us Because the Quran reached us with tawatur Many hundreds of sahaba conveyed the Quran to the tabi'un And then from the next generation to the next generation And the Quran has reached us tawaturan Without any doubt in this transmission You following? So there's no shubah in that, the Quran However, but So for example The, 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 the Tawrat, the Bible, the Injil They all came down via Jibril Amin To the Nabi From the Nabi to the Sahabi, the, who's the tabaqa? We don't have any. So that's why it's, it's gone. From, from, even if the first people got it, between Jesus Islam, and the people who compiled the Bible, you just have, there's a gaps in between. So that there's, no, there's no chain. So when, when so the, 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 the Injil was Qatli. When it first came down, it was Qatli. The Torah was Qatli. No? Are you following? But the, the, the Shubha is in the way. It's the song. And if we don't believe it right now, we say, because there's no itisal in the sanad. We don't know. So the shubha in hadith, uh, not the shubha in hadith, but what we analyze in the hadith is what? It's itisal with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You following? So then we're going to have to then analyze those things. That how do we, so based on that we say then, there's types of khabar based on how it has reached us. Whether it's reached us well, a large number of narrators, a small number of narrators, medium number of narrators. Where does it become one narrator? Where does it become multiple narrators? Based on that, we'll have then the uh, Aqsamu Sunnah. Does everybody understand? Following? Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiru wa natubu ilayk.